Hey guys, and welcome to the first bucket plugin tutorial by me, Dippo, aka Bob. Alright, so first we are going to install IntelliJ. Uh, this is a very important step in the developing process because it really helps to have a compiler. Uh, you can use whichever one you'd like if you'd like to use NetBeans or Eclipse, that's totally up to you. However, uh, I will not be able to help you as far as setting up projects and things like that goes. Um, I will be taking, however, step by step through the IntelliJ installation process. So if you'd like to follow along with IntelliJ, you can do so by following this video. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is type in IntelliJ and just Google that. And then when you see this uh, first thing by JetBrains, just click download page. It's the one at the bottom. I will have a link to this in the description if you'd like to just grab it from there rather than Googling things yourself. Um, but once you come to this page, you're just going to click on the Community Edition. This one is uh, Ultimate, costs money, and this one does not cost money. And I haven't really found any features that I necessarily miss by having the free one. Anyway, uh, you don't need to fill out anything on this screen. It just says thank you and wants you to fill out their email stuff if you want to get emails from them. Um, if you don't want to get emails from them, you can just close it. But let's do the next thing. Uh, the next thing that we're going to need to get is the Java JDK. And uh, this is the Java Development Kit, and um, it's used for installing things. You know what? Let's, let's go back. Let's try Java Development Kit 7. So this is the page you want to come to. I'll have a link to this in the description too. Uh, the first thing you want to do is check this Accept License Agreement box, and then choose which version of your computer is over here. Mine, I am running Windows 64-bit, so I'm going to click the bottom one. If you're using Mac OS, you just click here, and um, so on and so forth with all the other ones. So yeah, that's how you install these. Uh, once this all finishes up the installing, I will get, or sorry, once it downloads everything, I will show you guys the process for installing them. Alright, now that they've both downloaded, navigate to your downloads page, and first we're going to install IntelliJ. So just double click on that the program and click yes let it do whatever it wants and um, then it'll come up with this and just says click next to continue so follow the directions on the screen that is a fine directory for me and yes I would love to create a, a desktop shortcut uh, this JetBrain things you can just click install that's fine it doesn't really need any other info and that will just do what it do so now we can click on the Java development kit 7 version 7 and build 51 there we go um, it's already been installed on your computer. Oh, well then no, I would not like to install it. Uh, but basically you just go through, click next a bunch, and it'll ask you where you want to install it, and then you're good. It, it really isn't super hard of a process. Um, so yeah, this will be done in just a second, and then I'll get to showing you guys how to set up the project. Alright guys, now that we've installed it, you just gotta open up IntelliJ, and then we're gonna click on create a new project. Uh, it'll take a second, but then it opens up. We're gonna choose Java. Don't choose any of the other thing. Other things. We may go into some Maven stuff later or Maven, but for now we're going to be doing Java. So uh, for the title, let's just name it YouTube Tutorial, and then we click down. And you'll notice that there's no SDKs here, and we're just gonna click New JDK, and then you're gonna navigate to where it saved your Java development kit. Mine went into uh, Program Files and Java, and then JDK right here. So that's just the stuff you need. There we go. We're running 1.7, and then you just click Next, and we do not need groovy stuff, so just click Finish, and then it will finish and open up your project. Um, you'll notice when it opens that there's not really anything there. Give it a second. There you go, you'll see that it just says new files, and you may see a tips window, you don't need that, but um, just to make things easier for the next tutorial, if you want to actually show everything in your place, in, in the um, project, just click this tiny little tab at the bottom. Oh, just click it. Nope, I got it. I got. I know how to do it. Click it. And project. There we go. Okay, now it shows everything. Alright, so thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this tutorial was helpful for installing IntelliJ. And um, I will, once in the next tutorial, I will show you guys how to set up the basic class for plugins and put in your different libraries that you need and so on. So thank you guys once again for watching, and I shall see you next time.